Websites for beginners. This is JP and this is all about the Jet Elements by Crockerblock that is an add-on for Elementor. Looking at those Jet Elements, how they work and how you can practically apply them to your website. In this one, we're going to be looking at the headline element that comes with Crockerblocks. And this is, a, I want to say, almost a typical headline element. But it's got a few tricks up its sleeve, so I can already hear, but wait, there's more. And I'm going to show you what's more. So let's begin then, and the first thing we'll do is just look at this element, how it basically works, and then a few examples. If you have installed the Jet Elements from Croco Block, it will be under here, and you will find it uh, up, 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 up from I, 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 and then where is, no, H is before I. There we go, headline. Drag it in. And let's have a quick look at exactly what this headline element does. In fact, it can do about three to four things. The first thing is that it has two parts. It's called the first part and the second part. And you can change it by today. That is your first part and it will update to show by today. And then your second part, get one free. And while I'm typing that, immediately your brain should go, aha. Uh -huh. This is interesting. And what makes it more interesting is that you can turn the entire element into a clickable link. So it becomes a call to action. And the link you can type in here your form or the page you want to take them to. I'm just going to add in here a, a hash that will link it for us. And if you hover over it, you will see now you have a link there. Good. So I'm remove that just for now. And well, think of all the possibilities that you can do of this. Let's have a few more looks at it. Decorative, decorative elements is an icon. You can add an icon before or you can add an icon afterwards. So you can also remove the icon. Sometimes I'm not too big a fan of icon in headlines. They make very good for icon boxes and features and blurbs, those kind of things, especially lists. I don't really love them as a beginner, but if it is a clickable button, that kind of thing, like a call to action button, icons do have a purpose. So you can add an icon before the time and you can even add an icon after, not time, but after the element. The styling is the normal kind of thing, but there's a few interesting things that you can look at the styling. Let's first go to the topography, which is where. First part and second part, they have different styling. So I'm just going to go to topography because I want to make it bigger. And then for the second part, let's go to the topography, make it also bigger. I think it was around 70 something over there. Now we can see it better. Let's go back to general. And one of the things in general that allows you to do is to take these two parts and stack them vertically. There you see. And again, you may be tempted to think, well, well I can do this just dragging two headings and style it like that. And sure, you can do that. This is just one of those things that you can do with this element and then you can style it. And of course, you can then add all those things like the icons that I've mentioned. The one feature, though, that I really love about this one is called the use text image. So let's work with this first part at the top. And of course, I cannot do inline editing because it's a clickable element. Uh, let's go to the first part, topography. I'm going to make the weight around 900 and I'm going to uppercase it. And then let's increase it in size so we can see it very clearly. I want it to be, let's use a different font. I'm going to try Poppins, make it thicker. And did that update to thicker? Ah, there we go. I like that. Okay. Now, this is where I really like this. You can get it with other elements as well, but this is the hidden gem in this element. And that is this one called use text image. So if I say yes, you will see it opens now an area where I can click and select a image. And let's go and choose something very bright. Let's choose this one over here. We'll be using it later again. And oh, my heart just melts when I see something this beautiful. And before we do anything about this, a word of caution again. Do not overuse this on your website. Use it sparsely and make sure that you use it appropriately. It can get very cheesy so soon if you don't use it very selectively, but it can have one massive impact. So I've basically shown you the features of this headline. 
The most important aspect will be is how you're going to practically apply it to your website. So let's look at one or two examples and let's start off with something like a call to action. Um, yeah, let's drag in here first. I'm going to drag in an image here, edit selection, go to my style. And let's say this is a promo for a gym that we have. October is coming up, Halloween, it's a scary thing. We want to get rid of that extra pounds. And let's say the height, let's make it minimum height and we increase it. Okay, this image is way too big. Go back to that, cover. And then, of course, we want the lady more in. Ah, oh, well, let's put it at center, 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 center. There we go. So what I want to do now is I want to say something like, um, uh, you know, 50% discount for the month of October, something like now. Halloween craziness. So let's drag in that headline element. I'm going to type this time headline and then I'm going to grab the headline. And then for my first part, let's say Halloween craziness, 50% discount for my second part. And then that's what we're going to be doing. I don't want an icon here. So for the decorative elements, I want to keep saying decorative, you know, one of those things, decorative elements, remove that and let's go style this. We are going to keep it horizontal like this. What I want to do here is that I do want to give it a background, all black. So I'm going to click the color and make it black. And then I want this stretch. So we go back to our edit section, make it full width and stretch it. Now I want to also place it column position at the top. Ah, things are looking nice. We'll just have to remove a little bit of that spacing gap position. Where is the gap position? Column position, column gap, hold, no gap. There we go. Woo, woo. You know, when things just move and work so smoothly while you're doing it, you get goosebumps all over. Sometimes when I do these things, I think, oh, it's not going to work. And then it works. I just love it when things actually do work. Let's go and style it. And we go to I'll click on it, then go to style. We've done with the general. Let's go to the first part. And I want to make it an orange color because we are in Halloween. Over there. That's nice. Let's slide it up here. Ooh, looking good. And now for topography, let's make it bigger. Okay, we have to try and fit it in. So I'm going to leave it at 50. And that's about it. Now we can increase it. I think I still have space there, 60%. And then for this one, let's go to the second part and we are going to increase that. I, I think the blue is pretty nice with it. We can leave that and we're already at 50. So you can play around and make it stretch across the entire area. I think we can also increase a little bit of the letter spacing. There we go. There we go. Second part, let's also go and increase the letter spacing for that one. And then what is going to make this very effective if you go and you add a link to the discount or to your blog where you are advertising this 50% discount at your gym. So we go back to content and then at the link, you will add your link there. For now, I just put in an empty placeholder for it. So in the future, when people come to your website and they click on it, bazinga, there you go. It will add and it will open for that. This is the first method or application that I can see for the headline. The second one is similar to what we were working on. Let's bring in an image again here, edit section. And we bring in, let's talk about a holiday resort. And I want to advertise this holiday resort. Go to layout, height, minimum height, and increase it. Something like that. Go to our style. Let's just put it center, center. And then we have to say cover. Yes, so this is not a very good resolution image. I used the smaller one because originally I wasn't intending to use it for a background. But then afterwards, I changed my mind. And why? Because I've got the right to change it. So the first thing is that I'm going to bring in that text overlay animated, oh, not animated, text overlay effect that we had previously. Let's go ahead and look for our headline again and bring it in drop and drag and I'm not going to be using the second part I'm only going to be using the first part and I want to say something like 
relax. That's all I want to do. I want this to grab your attention when you get to the website, that you get the feeling of a breakaway, a holiday, and the purpose is relax. Remove the icon because I don't want the icon there. Okay, icon is gone. And now let's go and style it. So the first thing is we have to go to first part and text color is not important. I'll show you soon why I'm going to use poppins again because I like that ultra black thickness that it gives me. And then I'm going to put the weight on 900 and I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to increase the letter spacing. Let's type in something like 30 there. I want it pretty big. And even for the size, I'm going to make it more. Let's make it 250. And now we are going to overlay this with an image. And it's very important when you do this that the two images must clash in terms of contrast, color, or topic. If you use something like a black and white, you're going to use something very bright, like colorful over it. And one of the things, if you know color theory, uh, complementary color or opposite color for blue is often orange. So you have to go for that. And it's going to give you both feelings for this breakaway. One is the nice blue ocean and also the sunset or sunrise. So we go now in the first part to use text image, click on it, and we go and select an image, the one that I had seen and shown you previously. Look at that. Doesn't that grab your eye? And it is so simple but it conveys so much. And this is where you get into good design. Not unnecessary writing and text and photos and jibbery jabbery sliders and things like that. Something powerful to the point. Whoever gets to this website is going to know what it's all about. I want to reiterate what I said earlier. Use it very, very carefully. It works well once on your site. Don't go and style every heading like it. It will look very 80s gimmicky very soon. This is good and this is great. And with the image, you can even go around and play with it if you want to. I can say again, cover, not necessarily. I can change the position. Okay, nothing changed there. Let's put it bottom center. Ooh, okay, gives us that part here at the bottom. Let's say top center gives us more of the clouds. So style it around to a way that you think suits your image the best. And I want to also remind you, when you've done this and you feel very good about yourself, go and check your mobile responsive mode. First, we're going to check tablet, and you can see it's just way too big. So for this, you will have to go back to your first part, click on topography, we are already in tablet mode, and resize it. I will also go and reduce the line spacing in this regard so that I can fit it in a little bit bigger here. And then the next one will be your mobile mode. And you can see it's definitely not going to work in so many aspects here. The first one is probably the background. We'll have to go and change this minimum height. Yes, I think over there, that's good. And then we go back to this one and we are first part. Go to topography and change the size. There we go. Please remember this part always more than 60% of first encounters with websites nowadays happens via mobile phones and tablets. So you can design the prettiest, most beautiful website for your PC ever. In the end, the first encounter people will have is most probably on a cell phone. Once that drag gets their attention, they will go look for more details maybe later on their laptop or PC if they need to fill in a form, even though so many people are doing online shopping from their phones directly. So we as developers and designers always get lost in this and we focus only on the PC layout, but I'd recommend every, every, every time, every time you do something like you add a heading, you add a background, go check the tablet, go check the cell phone, make it as responsive as possible. Hope this was valuable to you. This is JP here at Websites for Beginners.